It's not the Uno, the Dose, the Chase, but it's the Quattro! Welcome back to the Nerdy Effect. Yes, technically we're not on a break, but we're on a break. Schedules change and things are all ridiculous. So, this is my newest setup, and I'm not 100% sold on the gears yet, but I do like it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too busy for the chat and all that stuff. We'll figure out on the way. If not, I can make it go away pretty quick. Uh, hello, heroes. But anyway, so... Welcome back. Officially, we start back with um, the Nerdy Effects shows, so it's not all going to be 100% comic books. We're going to be talking about uh, pops and figures and stuff like that. And I know we had a special one for Victoria Day and things like that, but right now, today, at least for now, Friday shows will be shows again rather than comic book streams. Hi, Frodo. Yo, nerd boy. Yo, sea chicken. What's going on, my man? Welcome back. Hello, Freddy. Freddy. Nice for fingers, bitch. What's going on, man? You got stuck on a lawnmower again. Absolutely not. Gears of War. Possibly. Good to see you, Fox. Great to see you, man. Um, so, if you guys like the gears, you know, you can let me know. It's, 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 you're the one that has to watch this. I can tune all this out and I don't have to see it. So, if it is too much for you, let me know uh, if it needs to change or whatever you think. Um, probably the things on the side will change. They're just there. Ah, thank you very much, Mr. Hosted. Lethal, for that host. Hosted. I appreciate the hell out of that with six whole viewers. Hell yeah, my man. I believe that that is the... Pretty sure that's the number one top hosted. amount of people that hosted me uh, with that many viewers. So, uh, Lethal, great to see you. Hope you had a fantastic Friday because it is finally Friday. And for those of you who don't know, it is... <clears throat> fist bump friday so if you do have an instagram right there make sure you post that fist bump friday um unfortunately i do have a twitter only for twitch but it's there if you want to uh, i don't post a lot of stuff or or did you get too much gray hair ah so i do have another uh do have another interesting Hosted. thing for that joey appreciate that my man uh hello nerdy and everyone my internet's been really crappy well welcome to the club <laughs> you're pretty much right on point with everybody else 
When I see my, when I wait, when I see lovers' names carved in a tree, I don't think it's sweet. I think it's surprising how many people bring a knife on a date. But a bump, lethal joke. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Red Walrus. I like the uh, the flaming fish stick thing. That's awesome. Jinxy! What's going on, Gary Pants? How are you doing? Are you home safe? Purple Army, it is. You're exactly right. It is Friday hosted, and I do appreciate that host, my man. What flag is that? And I am so glad that you asked. I'm kind of waiting on a particular person to pop in, and the way that that works is if I'm waiting on them, they will never, ever, ever show up. Uh, but... Uh, this, uh, sorry, this oh, flag right here. Hey, thank you so much, Swap Meat. I appreciate that. Eventually, we will get a proper gift for that. Uh, but anyway, this flag this evening is Albania, and it's the very first time we've ever rocked this flag in there. I know it looks mean and scary, but it's not. It's Albania's flag. Albania, the lovely country of hills. Um, nerdy, I'm finally home. Yay. Hope you had a great day. The only reason I had a great day is because you're here. Uh, Purple Army, Albania, yes. Aloha, Jim. Aloha, Jin. Uh, I think that Dan Frode is trying to speak things um, that is beyond his um, ability to speak. Much like Red Shed trying to speak Spanish last night. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should have been here, dude. Uh, hi, Jixie. Jixie. Indeed. See? See? Do you see how many people's days were just brightened by the fact that Jinxie goes, Hi, I'm off work early. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so anyway, we are back, at least for the normal show. So we're going to continue doing that. Um, I do have a plethora of stuff to get to that's down there. So we'll talk about that. And I would like to get through the rest of the Micro Machine Star Wars bin tonight. So that's going to happen. But first, it is time for story time. So buckle up, kitties. Uh, I will tell you guys a story. Uh, if you did not know, yes, I did get a haircut. It is uh, shorter than normal. But... It's because it's hot as hell outside, and I just I'm just tired of um, sweating to death. Oh yeah! Uh, so I got my hair cut today, and while the uh, while the the lady is cutting it, um, I should say girl, uh, while the girl is cutting it or whatever, you know she's going back. And she did a tremendous job. I mean, really, I have a pain in the ass hair. Uh, while she's cutting it or whatever, she gets to the back back here that I really can't see very well, so you guys can see it better than me. But I can't see it. And she goes, hmm, let's see. You've got some wisdom down here. And I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, yeah, just some wisdom coming in. I've never heard it put like that. <laughs> Polo means chicken. But uh, thank you. You should have been here. Hi, Ro. Great to see you, my man. Uh, a couple people were worried about you, but I told you. I told them you're just uh, you're out there protecting the city. Oh, so uh, it's great to have you back. I appreciate that host, Fox. I really do. Jinxie brightens everyone's day except when she's dropping the B bombs. Then watch out. The B bombs. Is that why there's no B batteries? It sounds like somebody's stuttering whenever she's dropping the B bombs. Uh, yay, story time. I like your haircut. Thank you, Dan. Uh, haircut. Mm, yeah, you don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, show in the flip, 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 flip. Little French lady, I have not seen your name. It doesn't mean that you're not here. Uh, I'm just, uh, brains moving pretty, pretty quick. Side Sheep looks different. Did she lose some weight? Makeover? I'm waiting on a certain person to name that, but again, whenever I do something specifically for one person, that person doesn't show up. So now that I'm waiting on Fizz Kid and Potato passing by, neither one of them will show up. Uh, Evening Red, indeed. Uh, she's been saying bitch a lot because Freddy is my dad. Makes sense. Now it's her fingers, bitch. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So she said, you've got some wisdom coming in. And I'm like, that's, uh, I mean, I already know it, but the time that I am, I, I would say, by the way that it's going, probably like 42. By the time I'm 42, I'll probably have all this is going to be white. Pretty sure. Um, is that my side sheep stuffed animal for my show? No, 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 no. I will get you one though. I, I've got to, I've got to go out and I've got to find the perfect one and hug Jinxie indeed. I believe if everybody could hug Jinxie at least once, the world would be a better place. It'd be like, I want to start war. And she's just like, and the hugs, you're like, no war. All right. So anyway, uh, we do have some stuff to get to this evening. Um, I think we're going to hold off on the Star Wars for a little bit, get to some stuff. Um, you already 42, shake my head. <laughs> I'm old. I'm not that old, uh, but it, it is on the horizon. And I appreciate that sea chicken, but... Yeah, now this kind of looks gray, but it should, well, this is gray. 
Um, but this is lighting back here. This part isn't gray yet. It's it's getting there. But yeah, so right here, this was the talk of the last time I got a haircut. Whenever she goes, ah, your white hair is fucking me up. Um, we can summon Fizz with random talk. Okay, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, she wouldn't be able to see everyone hug her though. Well, no, that that's not the point. I, I just just that it's regardless. It's the feel. It's the it's the. I've got jinxy moms. I don't know where that came from. Uh, William Riker. Wait, Niagara Falls Comic Con tomorrow. Retro '80s arcade and Willie William Riker. That's awesome, man. Uh, now are you gonna go? Or are you just bragging because it's near you? Day Listy. Uh, hello, Buzzcut Nerdy. What's going on? Now, originally my plan was to go this short, the whole head, but I just don't think you could handle it. So. I shall summon Fizz Space Harrier. I think it's Space Harrier 3 or 2. It's not the original one. I think it's Space Harrier 2 or 3. It's one of those. So you're actually putting the wrong spell out there. Uh, anyway, so we've got some stuff. I, I am actually working on a completely different screen for when we do uh, in real time. And um, what did you learn? Nerdy news, flag facts, and stuff like that. Because regardless of how people like it or not i've always wanted to put out a show that i want to watch if it's something that i'm into and want to talk about regardless if it's something you want to hear maybe it might be something when i'm done it's like oh that's an interesting fact so in the eventual future and i i mean within the next month or so i will be bringing back flag facts i will try to make it a little bit more enjoyable um with maybe some um maybe i can put up some banners and stuff so you actually see what i'm talking about and up close and personal um, but it'll have its own individual room, like the comic room and the asthma and all that stuff. Um, so there will be no in real time tonight, uh, even though it is an official show. Uh, bragging because it's near me and we are going. Hell yeah. Chickens originated in a giant egg under the then invaded land in 1648. Under the then. <laughs> it feels like Fizz Kid is here, whether he's here or not. Um, so anyway... Uh, do you guys enjoy the gears behind me or not? Is uh, is it too distracting or you just didn't even notice it was there until I said something? Because I, I like the gears. I like that there's something back there moving at all times. Um, I just don't know if it's too much there. Uh, anyway, so let's get into what we picked up. Um, it's been a while. Like, even though we've been doing the comic shows, it's not like the collecting ever stopped. I just kind of like, you know, put it to the side for a while. Uh, what kind of flag is that? That is a three by five flag. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, that is definitely a fizz kid thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, hang on. I got to do something real quick, and then we will get back into it. And again, I do apologize. I, I don't ever like turning away from the camera, and if I do, I don't want to stop talking. So, I don't want to do that. I want to... What the, what the hell is going on? See, again, you've got this, uh, okay, apparently I've got to click completely off of this. There's no way it's going to work. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, um, cannot see the chat right now for some, okay, my, my internet just bogged. I don't, I'm probably going to lose you guys. Apologize for that. Come on, bro. Really, bro? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I'm not your I'm not your father, Lethal. <laughs> My friend is lurking, and she's Albanian. Says hi, and that's a rad flag. That's amazing. That that's really cool. Um, now is she lurking in your house? Like is she dressed like all in like red leather, and you call her Arsenal just because it's cool? And she's like peeking over behind the couch, like I want to talk, but I want you to talk. Or is she like lurking in the chat or whatever? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, see, oops, again, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Tuna is chicken of the sea. Facts. Yeah, there you go. Let's see if this thing is done. There it goes. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, all right. Tuna is chicken of the sea. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down. All right, so what did I pick up? Uh, I picked up, this is from 1993, and this is the Power Rangers Lunchbox. And I, I did enjoy the Power Rangers. She's watching the stream on her phone but can't comment. That's fine. There, there's a lot of people who do just watch and don't comment. That's awesome. I was just kind of like in my head. I was like picturing like, you know, like, you know, red leather peeking over the couch. Like, we've got to protect this city, but this nerdy guy is really entertaining. And then getting back down. Hello, my... 
fellow, what? <laughs> What's going on, uh, Louvre Blanc? Uh, appreciate you stopping back in. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, the Power Rangers lunchbox, and I was going to pass on this 100%, but it was complete, and it has the thermos, which is rare. I own a couple lunchboxes, not a whole lot of them, uh, but I think that all the ones that I do, it has the thermos. So this is the only one that actually has it. Uh, two jizzies, shutters, I know, right? Cool, go, go, Power Rangers. It definitely seems like something that Swap Meat would have. Now, I did not open this, but I'm very curious as to what it smells like on the inside. So we're gonna learn together. Wow, it's actually clean, look at that. Actually, it looks like a peanut butter jar. Who wants to lick the peanut butter at the bottom of the jar? Raise your hand. Put your hand down, Jinxie. Uh, so, yeah, it does come complete with the thermos, and that definitely adds a whole lot to it. But the fact is, like, this was probably ran through multiple dishwashers, and the artwork on it is still looking really, really good. What is going on, Big Daddy Juggalo? Great to see you, my man. Yeah, from Aladdin. Not, not, not King of Thieves Aladdin, Aladdin the company. Uh, <laughs> you own my lunchbox, girl. Wait, you're 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 a fox. You're you're a Power Ranger. Power Ranger fox. Uh, go go Power Foxy. Spoon. Uh, okay. So yeah, and the front of this is really clean. Like the sticker's not coming off. So whoever had this either barely used it, or they took really really good care of it. It actually has the original barcode on it, which is actually pretty cool. Um, what is this place? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Love Blank? Um, this uh, is the nerdy effect. It is. I don't want to. I don't want to talk and say that this is the most nerdiest show on Twitch, but I would definitely guess it's in the top five. Um, we do a lot of different stuff. Uh, we talk about classic toys, upcoming movies, classic movies, um, random things such as a Power Rangers lunchbox from 1993. Um, we do have Star Wars micro machines to get to. We got pops. I mean, pretty much anything that's toy related is number one. Comics, but not tonight because there's too much of that. Um, you take that to work. It means don't look at me. <laughs> I think it's the, wait, wait. I think it is the number one. Really? Well, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, but yeah, so it's just a place where like-minded people can get together and chat and have a little bit of fun. Uh, pretty much at my expense, but... Um, if you do like what you see, man, feel free to hang out if you want to lurk and just check stuff out. For the most part, I guarantee there's something in here that either you had growing up or something similar to that. Because there's a lot in this collection. And the longer you stay and try to decipher as to what's back there, the more it is. Jay oh, is geez. savage. What's going on, my man? It's been a long time since you've been up in here, but I appreciate you stopping on by. How's your Friday been? Uh, it's the jizziest. If it's not the nerdiest, it's definitely the jizziest. Uh, <laughs> I had anchovies on a pizza for the first time today. I actually don't mind anchovies on a pizza. As long as it's, if it's not just anchovies, if you throw like sausage or pepperoni or some, um, some peppers or something, you're good to go. You barely taste the anchovies. It just adds a little extra like meaty salt to it. But for the most part, I think they're pretty damn good. Uh, fatality. What's going on, buddy? Great to see you. And then look who came strolling in right afterwards. It is his barbecue brethren, Mr. J. Dooba 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 Dog. Uh, the solo movie was disappointing. See, chicken? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what? I loved the solo movie. Bam! The solo movie was disappointing. You know what? I thought the solo movie was disappointing. Bam! The solo movie was the best thing I've seen ever. Sea Chicken is always the polar opposite. Uh, unfortunately, I can't rank in on it because I haven't seen it. Most people that seen it, they they say range between yeah, say they very much say love. Hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. They range between the place say of hallelujah. it's say an okay hallelujah. Star Wars, say but it's not hallelujah. the best. It's um, it's somewhere like it's better than the prequels, is what I've heard, and I tend to, to go with these kind of people. Uh, hashtag Friday, yes, yes, yes. Uh, swap meet is fully torqued. That's right. If anybody's up in here, hit that hashtag Friday up in there and let me know how your members doing guys and girls alike. Those guns, girl. <laughs> um, what's up, fatality? Mr. Lewis fear still hanging out. Hope you had a, ha a fantastic birthday, my man. Um, technically I can't scream it on here, uh, but I hope you did have a fantastic one. Um, Oh, yes. Got to support, bro. Good. Hope you're having a good Friday and stream. We're going to try to do it, but Jay, it's great to see you. Um, 
Hi. Yes. We well, see your fatality. Yeah. I didn't even know. I'm not even standing up. How did you know? Uh, Friday. And Dan is fully torqued as swell. All right. So let's get into this. I've had this guy for a while and he needs to go inside the glass case. There's a lot of stuff here, but just, just know that there is a glass case right there. Hey, fatality. These are actually kind of on the rare side. Now they're not really expensive unless they're in like a lot. Hang on. Um, but if you can find them individually, for the most part, there is a little bit of value. So there was a thing in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, something like between 88 and 91. I'm not sure of the date. I can check it in a moment. Um, do you still remember how to speak Albanian or did you forget? I completely forgot how to speak Albanian. You should actually see me speak Spanish last night. It was muy influento. Uh, fatality heart. You know, maybe I was thinking about putting one of those glasses over here because I really like the way like the bits will like travel across the screen and then fall in. I think that that's really cool. So I get why people use the glass. And I think if I put the Nuka bottle maybe bigger over the glass, it would look like things are being dropped inside the Nuka bottle. But that's just me. Uh, Hero's throwing up the nerd circle. There you go, my man. I appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, this is one of the guys from Food Fighters. And... They were very underrated. I know that they had a TV series, and I think it was maybe one season, if not maybe 12 episodes. But um, the Food Fighters were not well received, and so the toy line is kind of like more or less people collect it based off of rareness. Now, I'm not saying that this thing's very expensive. I mean, I only paid $2 for this, but that was also from a secondhand store. One more question. What are those creepy emotes? Oh, e what, what emotes? Wait, you, you're talking about my nerd circle right there? So that emote is this nerd circle. See, N-E-R-D. And the other one is the dirty fish stick. And if you don't know the dirty fish stick, you need to come back on Thursdays. So anyway, this is a food fighter, and I don't remember his exact name, but he's definitely going to go with the collection. Um, they had, like, uh, cookies and hot dogs and french fries, and they all had, like, machine guns and hats and stuff, and they fought each other. And somewhere in this collection is actually the egg crate mobile that they all rode in to go and fight the bad guys. And interesting, there was a base that was designed. It was a refrigerator that opened. It had like cannons and stuff, but it never came to light because the uh, basically the world said, oh, we don't want this crap. So there's only like, um, there may be a prototype made or maybe two or three, but there's not very many. Um, so there's people who actually made their very own bases and stuff. Uh, Mr. Trance Cowboy, what's going on, man? Red spoke Spanish, my cat disappeared, and my dog grew wings. It was very, um, I'm trying to think of the proper word, uh, uh, wizardy spelly? Yeah. <laughs> sup, peeps, sup, Trance. Uh, food Fighters, I'm familiar with fighting food ons, huh? Wonder where there's a connection. What? Uh, Red, haha. -ha. Michael, what's going on, Michael? Welcome back to the show, man. Good to have you. Uh, Walnut Ass Whipper, yes, Whipper. So there he is right there. And these are real squishy. Like they're all, they were made like that. A lot of those toys were similar to that. Let me see if I can see the, uh, the date on there. 88. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So 1988. And I believe his hat actually comes off. If not some of the other ones, their hat actually does come off, but there he is right there. Um, one of the food fighters and believe it or not, collecting these is pretty damn hard because they're not that they're not that widely available. Like even on eBay, you'll pay thirty five dollars for a complete one. That's like with the hat and then like both weapons and stuff. And in the package, pfft, forget about it. You're not buying them. Uh, the Nerd Effect stream is sponsored by Snuggle Fabric Softener and Hanes Underwear. The Nerd Effect is finally back in full effect. We kinda. Um, I thought all those things behind you were from anime, but toys and movies not my thing. I mean, is anime your thing? Is that is that where you sort of like hit it? Because there is there is some anime stuff, pretty much this shelf right here, and there is like I think it's called Sonico or Sonico, but it's like this big breasted blonde going like this, and there's like a crab like I think it's Sonico. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, but I mean, if anime is your thing, man, we do rarely talk about, it, but we do bring it up. Uh, his hat comes off broken. I didn't pull it. It's still there. Um, I remember having a few of the Food Fighter figures as a kid. That's hard to say, Food Fighter figures. Uh, Super Sonico. Thank you, Random Art, dude. And Dr. Swiss Cheesy at the same time. <laughs> oh, what's going on, guys? Great to see you. Um, hopefully you have a fantastic time. Um, 
random art dude was uh how was japan um <laughs> chill out fox uh full effect ooh baby yo random yeah yeah but it's great to see you guys it's it's really great to see you guys if you don't know these are two artists and i found them i think i found both of them on ustream and then we sort of like moved together to youtube and one of you has a lot of damn followers on twitch i i don't remember which one like both amazing but completely different forms of art uh, but both of them stream art. You need to go check them out. If I'm going to tell you to subscribe to some people right there, uh, Dr. Swiss Cheesy and Random Art Dude, go click on their name right now. Click the follow button. You will not be disappointed. Um, if you follow Dr. Swiss Cheesy, it is very anime. It is it is very anime. But what it is is very crisp, clean, sexy drawings. And Random Art Dude is the reverse of that. It is big honking hooters with like a little bit of fabric and stuff covering the nip nips. My kind of stuff. Uh, nerdy 2020. Meh, nah, I have bad vision. Sonico, get your ass in this house and wash these dishes. <laughs> Looking like your daddy. <laughs> Calm the hell down, fatality. Uh, tiring, and I'm so jet lagged. Dude, I bet, but there was a couple people who do streams on Twitch that stream from Japan, and it looks like it is nothing but um, claw machines. Like, this dude went into this building. It was like nine stories tall, elevators and escalators, and it was nothing but wall-to-wall -wall claw machines. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then he went down to the street, walked a little bit, walked past some food to another nine-story building filled with different claw machines. Um, I do have a pachinko machine, too, so bragging. Um, <laughs> art at its plebs. I don't know what that means. Um, C random, he calls you out for big boobs, <laughs> but I love them. Um, I meant for president, you nerd. Oh, <laughs> I thought about actually making like a nerdy for president 2020 kind of shirt or something, but uh, after the house repairs from uh, about a month ago, it ain't happening this year. Um, I know I'm late as usual, but I love the haircut. Thank you very much, Jinxie. It's great to see you, regardless. Now, be honest. How many people did you hug since the last time we spoke? Um, so, the question is, is Nerdy Effect back in full effect? The answer is yes and no. The previous schedule was three days a week, Nerdy Effect, which is this, which is where we talk about random crap, and we put up a flag, and not today, but we will do in real time, and what'd you learn, and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. As of right now, Fridays will be normal Nerdy Effect show. 100%. We'll do it just like this. It'll be this background and all that. Wednesdays will be comic stream only until we finish with the organization of the comics back here. And that's going to take a while. I mean, if we're narrowing it down to just one day a week at just an hour, we're probably looking at probably the rest of the year before we get through all the comics. So this section right here is going to get very high um, so yeah, yo nerdy, yo Ali D, good to see you my man, um, Heller, what's going on, boom dude, boom dude, today is fist bump Friday my man, you know what that means, Pfft, pound it, um, hi hi, Subzilla, I love it when Subzilla's up in here, I hug everyone, too much to count cause I love you all, you made it, Mr. Power Plug, how are you doing my man, it is always good to see you, so, um, Fridays will be the official show regardless, and uh, today is episode 34. In four episodes, we will hit episode 300. So it's going to be a big, long uh, process show when we do it, and it will always it will land on a Friday regardless. 300! Yeah, old joke. Yo, yo, Michael, um, what's going to... Wait, who's going to get me very high? What? Um... I think I can get used to this cringe show. Damn it, it's a cringe show. It's all right, my man. Maybe we can get you something. Got my vodka sorted. Boom. There you go. Yo, Hiro. Hugs, Dan. Um, so, Mondays, I will eventually turn back into a normal show like this. But I at least foresee for the next couple of weeks, it's still going to be the comic show. And then Thursdays will be the ASMR or ASMAR, how I say it. Um, I think right now, regardless of how the turnout is, I do enjoy doing a Thursday night show. It's a little bit off the normal um, pattern time from what we do. So I think it's cool to get some of the later later people who come in and watch. Um, also, I like bringing the characters out. Um, if we're doing the Vlad Spacers and stuff like that, that's the only time you get to see the characters. 
But if we throw them on at least once a week, people might get used to these characters. So when we start putting them back into Tim Spacers and Time Spacers, um, anybody who's joined since we've made the swap from YouTube to Twitch will then start be like, oh yeah, I know that guy. He's really weird or crazy or fish stick or whatever. Uh, happy birthday, Power Plug. Today is National Fish and Chips Day in the UK. It's also, ironically, my birthday. How did I not know that today was your birthday? Mr. Power Plug. Happy birthday! There you go, man. And take that with you. RIP headphone users. Happy birthday, Power Plug. There's a lot of people's birthdays. It was Lewis's, and then it was Jack's, and now it's yours. A lot of people. Uh, hugging. Yes, yes, yes. Hugging, 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 hugging. So anyway, boom. Food Fighter. He tap dances. <laughs> All right, so it's been a minute, so I think we should uh, at least talk some pops, and uh, it's time for Pop Talk. <laughs> My microphone is kind of like higher than normal, so uh, hopefully you guys can hear me decently, except for the happy birthday screen. That doesn't count. Um, I don't know what that is. Bread loaves with butter? I don't know. So, um... You can't see it. Eventually, I'll get a larger frame camera, and you'll be able to see the extensive pop shelf that's over here that you can't see. And then uh, you won't ever see it, but there's another pop shelf right there. And there's a whole other room in there, and there is a pop wall in there. All those are in boxes except for like two or three. Uh, good to see you, Power Plug. Yes, it is. What's going on, Tukaki? Yes, WTF indeed. Because after Monday and Tuesday, even the calendar says, um, Hugging Dan. Yes, yes, yes. Pop thought. Technically. So we're going to start out with uh, two exclusives. Actually, I think everything, every pop tonight is an exclusive, which means they don't get opened. I apologize. I pop a thought before. Gross. Uh, this is the Target exclusive Coma Doof Warrior from Mad Max. And that is an absolute badass pop. I had no idea they were going to make something this kick ass. But it's basically the guitarist that rode on the very top of the motorcade. And check that dude out. I like that they put him off to the side, but my favorite part is they put the mirror in there. So you actually see the back of him, so I don't even have to take him out. But yeah, this is a Target exclusive, which means that it's going to be absolutely a pain in the ass to get this. If Target is an exclusive, pretty much count your... Count it saying, nope, I'm going to have to pay eBay prices. Holly and Mr. J. Estravaganza. Nerdy, hope things are good. Why wouldn't they be good? What do you know? Tell me all your investigative work. Um, A.K.A. Megatronisha. That's true, that's true. Cheering. Oh, the cheer, cheer, cheer. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, you fancy. I know a lot of people have asked you this, but how much money did you spend on this shit? Um... Let, let's, let's, put it, let's put it in the easiest terms. And it's basically, um... Way more than any human should. Uh, so, <laughs> pop a thought in the mouth of a stuck and said, yes. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? Yes, Ali is asking. So, yeah, there he is right there. And that is a pretty badass, highly detailed pop. And you know that this did not come out of a straight mold. They had to make this from scratch. And that's what I like about pops is if you buy a Marvel Legend, chances are it is a rebuild body from a previous one that came out. But Pops, it is individual molded, and you know once it's done, it's done. They destroy the mold, and they make a new one. So this one is really cool. Uh, Target, I apologize. Uh, they have a massive Pop area in MCM Comic Con. Well, go get me some. What you what, what you waiting on? Go get me some. Uh, we still don't know where Vanity is. Well, hmm. I could put it on the APB, but pretty much she's going to end up in my sex dungeon anyway. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I bought all of Jizzy's toys, eighty thousand dollars total. There you go. There, there's your, there's your subtotal, love. Louvre. Anyway, so there you go, Mad Max. And here's some of the other ones that come in this collection. And I've seen most of them, and there is a couple more exclusives. And I think I have another Mad Max. Mm, I can't see it from here, but I think I do have another Mad Max pop. Uh, Lamau, I know, right? Do you know Funko is is twenty years old? Yeah. Um, also on Netflix, uh, second season for the Toys That Made Us came out. I don't think Funko is in there, um, but I know Transformers and Legos are part of the new series. If you if you have Netflix and you you like toys or like even if you don't collect, but you actually had them when you were a kid, it's highly worth watching the show, uh, the Toys That Made Us. Um, but yeah, I think on Netflix they put a series called The History of Funko or something similar to that. So yeah, it's it's been around a while and it took a long time for Pops to take off. And now that they do, 
this is all that we buy. Uh, ew, I farted. Where's my air freshener? Gross, gross, gross. Uh, 80 G's American, so that's like 120K Canadian. I like your, I like it, I like it. I, li I enjoy that. That's that's awesome. Uh, do you have any Deadpool toys? I do. Um, Deadpool is not my go-to character. I think, I don't know. Deadpool to me is very hipster. It's like everybody loves Deadpool all of a sudden and everybody wants to be one. If you go to a Comic-Con and two people are going to some, um, you will see Deadpool. You will see um, Lazy Boy Deadpool and um, Artist Deadpool because it can be anything. And I think the market is just very oversaturated with Deadpool. I, I do like some things. I do have some comics and some figures and stuff for the most part. Um, I can't like reach off to the side and pull a Deadpool out. Um, there's a Funko one too. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but I don't think it's part of the toys that made us because Funko didn't make us. Um, pre-order the new Deadpool pop set costs about $110. The, um, are you talking about the one, um, the one where like, he's like Bob Ross and like a king and like laying down like the sexy one, stuff like that. Uh, making fun. Um, yes. Did you see their really good Deadpool cosplay? in Comic-Con. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see the amazing cosplay, you can just go to Mr. Freddy's Ready here on Twitch and on YouTube, Freddy's Ready, and that dude has a legit Deadpool suit. And what's interesting is I was showing uh, I was showing Ginger some of uh, Freddy's streams and what he does, and she goes, how does he get that voice changer to sound like Deadpool? And I go, he doesn't. That's actually him. Uh, so whenever I hear Freddy talk normal, I just hear Deadpool talking in the background. So you don't even know to go, need to go to a con. All you gotta do is go to subscribe to Freddy's Ready on Twitch and YouTube. Freddy's Ready. Write that down. Um, the Clown, A King, Bedtime, etc. Yeah, there, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of Deadpool. And the fact that Deadpool 2 came out and then all these old school movies started putting these slip covers of Deadpool over it. Uh, the marketing campaign is flawless. I'm not getting wrong, but it is very oversaturated. There it is. There it is right there. Freddy's ready. Not as for fingers, bitch. Uh, yeet. Uh, Fred is Deadpool. Boom. What? Uh, loop dread. What? Uh, if anyone cosplays as an anime girl with huge boobs, call me. I, I, it's, it's not. Well, I tell you what. Eventually, one of my Thursday shows will have that. So um, you definitely got to come back for one of those. Hey, Freddy. Uh, it's, he's not only, he's not only has a badass Deadpool suit, he's got nicer fingers. Bitch, you gotta add bitch to it. Sup, Freddy, there he is. Uh, it's funny you didn't hear anyone talk about Deadpool until a couple years ago. It, it's true, it really is. Um, like, before the movie, it, like I said, the market was still very oversaturated. If you went to a con, you would see at least minimum 50 different Deadpools. That's just how it is. And I'm not hating on it. I mean, like, that's what makes it cool is because you can basically put a Deadpool mask on and just walk around in normal clothes. And it's like, okay, it's everyday Deadpool, and it's acceptable. Um, but it is just a lot. Um, so, yeah, I do have some stuff, but it's not, like, on hand. Um, uh, are we talking about Dad? We are talking about Dad. Dad is amazing. He shits in a sink. It's true. It's true. Metal Mog, I saw it. I'm not your father, lethal bitch. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Jizzy is an anime girl. Sign me up. Like I said, you got to tune into the Thursday shows. Uh, <laughs> is that your emote? Is, is is that your emote? Or is, oh, dude, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Next time you're streaming, I'm picking it up. All right. So let's talk pop, and um, then we'll get into some micro machines and stuff. So this one is uh, straight out of my childhood. I had to have this. There actually is a third one to this set. It is like. Uh, it's a somewhere between one of 800 or something to that effect, 8,000. They didn't make very many of them. So I'm going to have to weigh the F overpay to get it. But for right now, I got the very first exclusive of the Mr. Rogers pop. Um, Dad, before Deadpool, it was all Stormtrooper cosplayers would be at flood conventions. Yeah, you're right. They just approved a couple hours ago. Hell yeah, my man. And needs no introduction, but welcome to Twitch, dude. So yeah, I did pick up the Barnes and Noble exclusive Mr. Rogers, and um, the as soon as they launched the Mr. Rogers, I saw it and I knew that I had to have it. I picked up the original one, the Barnes and Noble, and then they made a like it's one of eight hundred or eight thousand or something like that, but it's a very limited run, so I'm not to pay like thirty to fifty bucks to even get the damn thing. But it is Mr. Rogers, and I had to have it because I mean. The impact that this man made, like, this is real. Like, 
like like this dude like he's cool like it's it's neat but this dude actually made an impact on society and how people grew up and he did it for over 40 years and he put nothing but good positivity in the world if you if you don't know if you're from another country and you don't know who mr rogers is it is worth googling and learning about this man and what he did for public access and for free education and all this other stuff i mean it is um at some points whenever you you listen to him talk like outside of even the show it's the point it brings you to tears because of what he did for the world and um, the fact that they immortalize him in a pop and I have the means to be able to purchase that, it, it sort of brings a smile to my face to be able to walk in and see that guy smiling at me. So there we go. Cool pops. Open them. Not going to happen. Mr. Rogers, everybody's uncle. I am not reading that, Dan. Uh, Barnes & Noble has exclusive. Yeah, you'd be surprised at the amount of places that have an exclusives. Barnes & Noble, Walgreens, Books A Million, uh, Walmart. I actually have one of those. Target. Like... Uh, and then the individual boxes, like Loot Crate, Marvel boxes, stuff like that. They all have their individual stickers and stuff. Um, Entertainment Earth, and that's just off the top of my damn head. I'm trying to look around and see. Um, they're, they're actually, there's cons that have their own individual ex exclusive pops. And believe it or not, I saw somebody who collects pops on Instagram. They actually have baseball stadium individual pops like a player from the cubs has a baseball bat and the only place to fucking buy that is actually at that stadium yeah so when you're talking exclusives it's probably going to come out of nowhere i miss mr rogers i do too boy i google things like that I like k-pop girl i'm a big fan of k-pop uh my favorite k-pop band is shiny um, big fan of shiny. I actually have some of their, um, merchandise, which I'll wear on the show soon. So there we go. Mr. Rogers, Barnes and Noble exclusive, uh, talking with Congress for more fundings always brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, it, it is. Um, there was, I think it was the golden globes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but Tim Robbins gave Mr. Rogers a golden globe. You can Google this. This is on YouTube as well. And Hearing what Tim, Tim Robbins said about Mr. Rogers at first is really good. But when Mr. Rogers gets up there and starts talking about his acceptance speech, I mean, it is overwhelming to, to hear him speak. He's like, thank you for this, but there's more work to be done. And it's, I don't know, it's just awesome. I hope to find more cool exclusives soon from Walfart. Rawr. Um, do you like streaming on Twitch better than YouTube? Streaming has never looked this good on YouTube. You're right. Uh, Moneymaker sniped his stream. Did he? Did Moneymaker get in with um, Ice Poseidon? I know that he's streaming like right now, so I'm, I'm kind of sad that I'm on at the same point. Uh, but the fact that he's there, Moneymaker's making some serious waves. Uh, didn't expect to look like you are a K-pop fan. I'm a fan of a lot of stuff. Like, um, like music, movies. It doesn't have to be a certain genre. Yes, there's nerdy stuff in here, but I am beyond the nerd. You know, I mean, I can I can work on cars and equipment and stuff like that. Like, just because this is what I collect and what's behind me is not all that is here, my man. Um, I actually used to work out, and I wanted to be a legit professional wrestler. So, inside joke. Um, what do you think about Loot Crate exclusives? We do not have enough time to get in my hatred towards Loot Crate. Um, <laughs> there was another thing up there I was going to flip back on, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, power plug. Do you like streaming on YouTube or uh, on Twitch? This is what this is where I get into this weird love hate relationship. I love what I built on YouTube. It was it it felt like the big beginning of stuff, but due to what YouTube was doing uh, with cutting back the views and cutting back people to even be able to find my stream, like when I would go live, like nobody would get the notification because they were so cracking down on PewDiePie and that Jake asshole. They were doing all that, so it was affecting the small people who actually put content out there, and it was affecting my stream. So putting all that work in, putting in two years worth of work into YouTube, and then having to let it go to start over again on Twitch really leaves this sore spot in my soul for YouTube. Um, however, being on Twitch, I have felt very welcome. I love the format. I love being able to design everything that I want and not be restricted strictly to what Playroom provides, which is a default music. Yeah, that's garbage, Sony. Take that to the bank. I'll buy that for a dollar. 
Uh, yeah, Sam, I want to be a wrestler too. Uh, that's awesome. I mean, again, the longer people stay in this show, the more relatable stuff there is. Like, you can look back here and see, oh, there's a there's a football, there's a flag, uh, there's a Ghostbuster house, there's some Ninja Turtles, there's some Xbox 360 controllers. But there is more to this than just what's behind me. That is just the, um, that's the fishing lure to get you in. Um, but, but basically, being on Twitch, I can design everything from the ground up. And being able to change stuff through the individual scenes to this, to this, um, being able to swap around like that, it is awesome to me. And I enjoy being able to do that uh, because I have more creative flow behind it. I mean, we can go to the, the ASMR. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Ah! Say hallelujah. <laughs> Say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trenzorg. Thank you so much for that follow. And yes, that was Mr. Minimaker254, who is probably streaming live on YouTube right now. You got to go check him out. Um, what do you think about Loot Crate exclusives? Um, it's obvious Jizzy is a believer. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. Baby, 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 I'm Canadian. Ooh. Um, I subscribed to Loot Crate for a month, got my package, got lost in the mail. I emailed them, and they sent me a t-shirt. Never again. Your shoulders still look like they can lift a truck. Well, thank you very much. It's very blocky. Um, so, Loot Crate. Um, I saw it, and I was like, okay, this would be really cool to get. And the very first one I got was even before I started streaming. So I didn't even have a streaming platform. I just got it because I thought it was cool. And it was a knockout of the park. It was a beautiful loot crate. Everything in it was awesome and collectible and um, worth the money. The next one was, eh, it was all right. The very first, by the way, the very first one I got was the uh, Batman, uh, the Joker as Batman exclusive pop. And I still have it, uh, obviously. I don't throw anything away. Canadian, there it is. Um, and then the next one was, eh, it was all right. And by that time, I had started streaming, so I started to open them on the show. And then I got three in a row that was basically, the whole thing was just tossing the trash. There was nothing in there. One of them was like, make their own board game. Like, Loot Crate created a game where you folded the box inside out, and then you you took these pieces out of cardboard and rolled these dice, and that was the whole damn crate. And I was like, well, this is a big pile of garbage, and chucked it in the trash. Um, and then the one on either side of that was, was, was crap. Um, but the real turning point for me for Loot Crate, and this is just me being that way, um, is the Back to the Future crate. And I knew that there was going to be one for uh, the Doc Brown for, uh, from Back to the Future 2. And it was supposed to land on Back to the Future Day. And two people that I know that actually turned on to Loot Crate, they got theirs the day of so they could open it um, and enjoy it. Mine came the day after. And I felt very shitty because I had sent people to Loot Crate. They had used a code so they could get 10% off because I was uh, sort of like... I never got a discount off it, but if you got like 10 people to like say, hey, Jizzy got me this, then you could get like 30% off or something. So they got 10% discount. So I've turned people on to buying a loot crate and they couldn't even ship mine on time. So at that point, I just washed my hands of them. I was like, it's just crap because you would get like, let's say you bought a 12 month subscription. Three of those would be knock out of the parks. The other ones would be like half throwaway and the ones that weren't, it'd be all throwaway. So I just... Loot Crate just made, left a real sour taste in my mouth. Wanted to ask you something else. Why do you keep a flag up there when you don't even remember how to speak Albanian? I don't know how to speak Albanian. All right, so let me explain the flag to you. I'm late to the Twitch train. It's all right. It's all right, trans. Twitch train. <laughs> Time for another fun fact from our jester, Trenzor. There you go right there. Uh, they don't give S socks. What? They don't give socks. They do give socks. I got some socks. Uh, I smell Burt Gadert's. I sense Dr. J is lurking. Well, hell yeah. Let's hope he is. Um, anyway, so let me talk about the flag. This flag does not fly every single show. Um, funny seeing Moneymaker on ISIS stream. That's all. Yeah, that's what that's what Freddie said. That's Freddie said he actually got in there. That's pretty cool. I, I actually, I'm going to go back and watch the archive. I, I honestly cannot wait. Um, so what I do is each and individual show uh, that I do, the comic streams don't count as a show, but every show that I do, there is a different country's flag 
that flies behind me right there. There are certain ones that will never be in here. We're not going to even discuss them. That's not the point. You read the rules before you clicked on the chat. Um, but for the most part, we are going to put up um, a lot of countries' flags. I own 70 flags somewhere in that ballpark. Um, so right now, we have a potential to run 70 shows with a completely different country's flag back there. Um, I do have a couple of the provinces of Canada, uh, a few things like that, and it's just another thing to collect. Today's flag is Albania, and next Friday's uh, flag will be a completely different country at a random choice. Um, so that's how that works. Um, I, I do appreciate you popping in because of said flag. Um, but it's funny, like I put up the Canadian flag and people are like, you don't sound Canadian. You know, <laughs> it's, it's weird. I, I put up like Uzbekistan and people are like, you don't look like you're from Uzbekistan. No, it's just a way to show love and respect to a completely different country that most people, mainly Americans, don't even know exists in this world. So it's just another way to open up a conversation. Um, Luke, Luca Tata, uh, looks cool. I think we'll get it. And let me know. I see Jizzy still rants just as much. And it's good to have you back. Trenzorg. We missed you. Uh, yeah. One of the loot crates I got was awesome. Two were, re two were good. The rest sucked. See J dub backs me up right there. Uh, loot crate is just, just used to be a sponsor, like a dollar shave club, <laughs> but it was never really a sponsor. I never got paid to have it. I just opened it, talked about it. And then um, I talked to them about making a sponsorship, and they said you got to sell like 10 of them or something. It was just a pain in the ass. Flags! Yes, Subzilla. Great to see you. Um, how is the great Dustman doing, by the way? Um, get the Somalian flag. Uh, no. Uh, Antarctica. Uh, one of the ones I am buying is the, um, the Galactic Federation of Planets or something like that, but it's the Star Trek flag. It's in the works of getting... Yeah, I grabbed a stream shot, Lethal. Sweet. Uh, bring back flag facts. I will. I am going to. Well, you can thank the flag for the follow because I legit don't watch IRL streamers. And I appreciate that. Love, what do you watch when you're on Twitch? I'm very curious because I do want to play some games, but my show is strictly based on conversation talk. Like, I want to be here, I want to talk about the things that are down here, and I want to have a conversation with everybody. Who <laughs> exactly! Uh, I want to have a conversation with the people that are here. And I think that whenever I do game streams, and I do, I do do classic games. Do-do. Um, I do, uh, hopefully tomorrow... Say hallelujah! Yeah! Say hallelujah! Say hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say hallelujah! He's sleeping and hallelujah. vaping like Say always. Say hallelujah! Um, hallelujah! Yeah, I did Loot Crate for a year, did not impress. See you right there. Um... League of Legends streamers, really? I watched this dude. Uh, uh, he was a League of Legends streamer. He was like in a uh, oh, he was in a Whataburger. That's where he was. It was I was about to say Burger King. He was in a Whataburger, like playing D and D with his friends. And I was like, "What's going on, man?" And um, I clicked on his followers. He had like fifty eight thousand followers. I'm like, "Damn, Whataburger streaming is paying off." He's like, "No, no, I do League of Legends." I'm like, ah, there you go. Um, how did you find this too cocky? Uh, let's see, what was it? Oh, he's sleeping and vaping. Like, I'm just trying to picture that. Just kind of like. <laughs> What's going on, Dust, man? Great to see you, man. I'm sorry you're sleepy. I'll try to tone it down a little bit. That right, Purple Army, you got about the time I had, probably. It was this, probably the same time that I had it when I was telling everybody to go and buy it because it was cool. Uh, they've been gone for a while and so much has changed. Yeah, it has. And we've missed you every second, but your hashtags still remain. Is Jekyll still streaming? Um, no, Jekyll has quote unquote, quote unquote, officially retired from streaming, but eventually he will be back. I will force him back. Listwitz is still on every Wednesday. Friday and Saturday. His Friday shows are gaming, and I, I don't know if he's going to follow me tonight, but if he does follow me tonight, um, it'll be it'll be the right after a little bit later, and he does like the classic gaming like I was talking about, and if I do have the chance, I will do a classic game stream tomorrow. Uh, accurate! Yes, yes. Uh, I usually watch Overwatch Super Smash Bros. streamers. Sweet, sweet. That's awesome. I, I, I want to get into gaming. Um, I mean, I am a gamer, but I just don't know what to really play. Uh, sleep, fart, and vape. <laughs> the norm. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, accurate. Next time you put the Albanian flag, get the Kosovo flag and put them together. Co oh, Kosovo. Um, I tell you what, man. I'm actually going to write that down. I will get the Kosovo flag. And I tell you what. 
Um, when I get it, I'll just rock the Kosovo flag as its own thing. Let's see here. So yeah, uh, I'll put it up as its own thing, and um, maybe if we're still doing this in a year, because I, I do have ability to put them on both sides of those shelves, so we could do it together as maybe like an anniversary stream to this one, uh, but I will get the Kosovo and put it up there soon. Uh, let's see here. I would watch Twitch for thought, Tots getting naked for mo getting naked for monies. <laughs> but then I found Jizzy and I'm like, this is better than titties. No, no, no it's definitely not better than titties. Um, yep, it'll be a little after yours. There you go. So there you go. Listwit still does exist. He's still there. Uh, Mr. Freddy Reddy's still on. Lethal has started streaming. I highly recommend uh, watching Lethal, especially when he's got Jinxie there. It is hilarity. Um, Moneymaker and um, Harley, Mr. J, they are still on the uh, streaming on the YouTube and the Playroom. Uh, Liquid Lola has made the transition to Twitch and YouTube. Um, let's see. Uh, Twisted Sense is officially on Twitch, 100%. I'm trying to think of some others off the top of my head and my brain's breaking. Uh, shit Shower and Vape. Rawr. Um, I watch Retro Gaming on Twitch. Yeah, that's because you are Retro Gaming. The best things were usually the t-shirts. Yeah, you're right. And, and sometimes you would hope they would get your right size. Um, this is shameful my first time on Twitch properly. No, it's not. Trendsort, listen. Life always comes first. This is the fun times. Uh, and don't start playing Leads of Legends because you will hate your life. Uh, it looks really cool. I, I've never played it, but I appreciate that. Uh, I vape. I use Vicks Vapor Rub. Gross. I bet that that tastes bad. Who needs Naked Girl streamers when you boy Jizzy pumps the guns for free? Boom, boom. Firepower. Uh, Al, you shouldn't shit in the shower while vaping. Well, yeah, you just mash it down the drain with your toe. Uh, hashtag heroes. Yes, he lol. It's Jupiter time. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, we're good. So, I, I teased it a little bit. So, um, I do have this chest of goodies right here. And it's basically a continuation from last Friday. <whistles> time does fly when you're talking fast. Flag Facts is canceled tonight, sponsored by Close Up Toothpaste and Charmin Tissue. Yes, it is. And when I do bring back Flag Facts, we'll have our own individual, um, basically, screen for that. I'm going to get some, like, waving flags and stuff like that. So, yeah. Ew. I'm, I'm just saying what you said. Uh, to hashtag toe mashing. Gross. Um, all right. So, recently, I picked up a collection of Star Wars Micro Machines, and I didn't know what I bought. It was basically like, here's a tub. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, so I picked it up and we're just kind of going through it. We started it last Friday. We'll continue it today. And then we got a few more things. Uh, well, I got to go to sleep. It's late. And you know what? That I do a hundred percent really do appreciate you stopping by, um, uh, love blank. I really do. And, uh, I hope you come back. We do this <clears throat> voice is gone. We do this three times, three times a week as this show, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 PM central time. And then Thursdays at 8 30 central time. So uh, if you want to come back, you're always welcome to get some sleep and maybe we'll see you tomorrow. As far as Friday, as far as Saturday shows, they are as I can. I really need time away from the stream so I can sort of recharge my batteries and figure out what I want to do next. So the, the weekend streams are like if I can. Uh, vape train. We already did it, Allie. You weren't here. You missed it. I don't know what that is. Is that like a, is that a sloth going yay? I don't, I don't know what that is, Hyro. Uh, anyway, so this is the sand crawler from the Star Wars Micro Machines. And I don't, I don't know, but it's got a little trigger right here. What does that do? I don't know what that did. <laughs> I need an adult. I need an adult. Uh, there's a show on Netflix called... Des Des Designated Survivor, highly recommend it. Sweet, man. I will look at it. Shouldn't be back up and streaming after you get off. So I shouldn't be back up and streaming. So I don't know what that means. So the door pops open and then this thing moves on the inside. I guess you can put like droids in there or something. I'm streaming off. Sorry. I So you can get off. I don't know what that means, Lethal. I still don't Should... Dude, listen, we've had this discussion. If you forget how to type and you type a paragraph and then you go, you do all J-dub and throw a random word and then another random word that's supposed to go in the sentence somewhere and I'm supposed to put it in there, retype the whole damn thing. 
You're welcome. Yeah, when Fizz Kid doesn't show up, this is what we get. Welcome to today in real time. And what did you learn is also a chance tonight, sponsored by Preparation H and Lipton Iced Tea. Broken, yes. No, this isn't broken. It's just, um, I don't have tiny little fingers. Oh my god! The whole top just opened and it's a bunch of Jawas. Ah! <laughs> look at that! Uh, oh my god. That was so cool. Look, 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 look. It's a little tiny Jawa. It's a little. Oh, teeny. My teeny. Uh, <laughs> damn. I, I had no idea they were even in there. Look at that. Look at the little gun. Oh, teeny. Uh, no, but that's what J Dub does. J Dub's like, here's a paragraph. Oh, wait, I forgot to add this word. And then this one was wrong. Without retyping the whole damn cohesive sentence. Your. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I shouldn't be back up and streaming after you get off, so George Cooney should sorry. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that pretty much sums up. So anyway, yeah, a whole bunch of tiny little Jawas. To sum up, he'll stream again soon. Uh, take the damn Twinkies out your hands before typing. Damn, Sea Chicken's still hanging out. I appreciate you, buddy. I really do, man. Um, I'm trying to see if this thing does anything else before I put it down because the uh, the escape hatch of Jawas was 100% not ready for. Anyway, the uh, the sand crawler, pretty damn cool. I mean, highly accurate. You know, the, like the little the Jawas are only this big, which is really cool. Um, where what were you Jawan doing in there, cramped up like that? I don't know. I don't know. We don't ask them. So the next piece, and my brain always fizzles out trying to remember what this thing is called. I want to say it's the Y wing, but I don't remember. Um, but these were in the Star. These were in the Star Wars, and these are not. These are kind of to scale, but kind of not. And uh, you could obviously put a driver on the inside, close it. Jawa orgy. Bet. Yeah, I do too. And then the landing gear actually folds up on it, which is pretty cool. Um, probably gonna hang this dude from the ceiling because it looks good. Uh, don't you want some kids to yell at you to get off your lawn or something? That's an oh an A wing. Okay, all right. So the Y wing is the one that's long and then it breaks out like a like a tuning fork. Uh, Kyle here at Lick ninety three. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, a wing. I meant to say I should be up and streaming when you're done, bitch. Well, yeah, hell yeah. I mean that makes more sense than what you put out there. Uh, do you want to throw a couple more random words at the back of it that's supposed to go inside that sentence? I mean, it's it's up to you. All right, the A-Wing. Thank you. Thank you. The Y-Wing looks like a Y. Well, technically, that kind of looks like a Y as well. I mean, look, I mean, it's 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 just a goofy Y. E to D. E to D. Uh, Y-Wing is the bomber. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, moving on. And then we've got... Get that out there. And then we've got... The Micro Machines Rancor. And you move his arm and his mouth moves. And I don't know if he can actually eat or not. Yes, he can actually eat and then poop. <laughs> so you can put anybody you want in his mouth. Put me in your mouth, bitch. Come on. Come on, put me in there. Put me in there. You can do it. And then you go in there and then later on, boop. <laughs> how sophisticated toys were in the 90s you could not only feed it you can then you know watch it go through the entire digestive tract um make him eat a jawa no i want to make him eat something cooler than that i don't have anything on hand how about a bottle cap let's see if we can do that west wing looks west thank you so let's see they open up the mouth we put the bottle cap in there you go rancor that's pretty cool um, the West Wing looks West. Yes. Uh, I use an A-Wing in Battlefront Starfighter. It's fast. Don't be bragging. Uh, scoop de poop <laughs> Fact, I can do an impression of the Micro Machine Man. Well, let's hear it. You have an Instagram. Boom. Make it happen, Cap'n. All right. Move this. Check this out. The, uh, AT-AT. -AT, the edit which is like a galloping horse. Yep. No, I, I would too cocky, but honestly, there'd be too much room left on either side of the mouth. It would just be embarrassing for me and the Rancor. Um, but yes, I, I appreciate that. Uh, it, it's like, 
Like, let's see here. Look, 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 look. You, you, you can read the whole chat. No too cocky, no too cocky, no too cocky, no too cocky. Oh, rude ass comment. Okay. Uh, AT&T. <laughs> oh, there's somebody inside of this one too. Look at this. Look at this. It's a, it's the damn pilot. Look how cool that is. And he was just hanging out inside. So when this actually falls down, it becomes a platform. You can then put a dude on. Look at this. Look at this. That's awesome. Micro machines are so badass. Like I miss these so much. And then it looks like the head opens. No, nobody's inside. But you could actually put a dude in there driving. We could make a Jawa Hallelujah. drive this. Say That's really cool. Say hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Freya the Slayer. Oh, Freya the Slayer. I apologize. Say hallelujah. Uh, Freya hallelujah. the Slayer. I appreciate the hell of that follow. I really do. Um, hopefully you stick around. Hopefully you don't just follow and then move on. Hopefully you stick around and, you know, um, it, it's fine if you want to lurk. But, it, you know, the longer you stay, the more we can be friends. Uh, hashtag bragging. I know the chat seemed too PG. It's just so random. Like, like everybody else is just like, hey, and they're just like, stick a dick in their mouth. And it's like, okay. I mean, it's too cocky. We all come to know and love and respect too cocky. But it's just kind of like, ah, right there. It's like you had to like scream real quick. Um, that was bragging camp, Allie. <laughs> Uh, sea Chicken is the old man from the movie Up, and I'm the fat scout kid that keeps yelling at him all the time. What a weird ass combo, but I can see it. So there you go, Micro Machine at at galloping away. Brrr. Now you are not shy guy. You have not entered the chat like that. And then we've got the uh, I think it's ATST. Pretty sure. Hosted. Hey, hosted. Thank you very much, Ali. I appreciate that, man. Say Jawa, say Jalaluia, say Jalawalilia. Um, I'm here till I fall asleep. Well, damn. I like. I I took theater, bragging. I took theater, and when I was in theater, I was I was taught to project my voice while talking, and for the most part, I do it in real life. But when I'm on the show, when the cameras roll and the lights are on, I project it nonstop. So falling asleep to this show is probably not the best. Uh, what you want to do is go watch my ASMAR from last night and last Thursday. Uh, but it's good, Freya the Slayer. I like that name. It rolls off the tongue. It's like, I am Fatality, Freya the Slayer. I like it. You know what? You sound like somebody that could be in King NorCal's court. Um, I love that movie. Say Jalil Julia. Um, at least you agree with me. F you, nerdy. I know. Uh, I took theater too, bragging. So yeah, the, the ATST. Um, I don't know if he'll stand up on his own. <gasps> a pilot popped out. <laughs> I could not pry this door open with my giant man hands, but I drop it, boom, hatch pops open. Um, it's 1.23 a.m., so you're over there in, um, in the U.K. No! I played football, bragging. Uh, I took theater, too. Uh, I, you know, I guess, I guess part of me always wanted to be an actor, and then I learned... That uh, unless you're like super famous, you can't just ad lib most of your lines. You have to like learn from a script. And I'm like, this is bullshit. I'll make up my own stuff. Uh, broken? No, it's not. Uh, bragging, I was a cheerleader. Hell yeah. Um, wait, you guys called it soccer. Ew. What are you talking about? Football's awesome. Now, rugby, that's a sport you don't mess with. Soccer? Look at it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's like 20 people that just went, nope, unsubscribing. Uh, I did none of that, just say it. <laughs> Every man for himself, I was qualified to be a cheerleader. Well, yeah, until, until like your, your, um, your, your fatality member was hanging out the bottom of the skirt and they're like, no, baby arm, get back in the back of the line. So yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that these come with like, um, hidden drivers that are in there. All right, so this is the last playset, and this is random. Uh, you played the World Cup update in FIFA Power Plug. Uh, I'm in England. I was nothing. I'm in college now doing travel and tourism. Now, are you, like, were you born in the UK, or are you over there from, like, America or Canada, or are you from somewhere else and studying abroad? since you're in college doing for travel and tourism. Where are you originally from is my question. I apologize, Freya the Slayer, for being all roundabouty. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to open this damn thing. I think this is from the Battle of Yavin 4, but I don't know how to open this thing. Maybe I'll push this button. <gasps> you pushed the button. Duh, stupid. I don't know what this is. 
Uh, <laughs> no, I don't play FIFA. And then I push this button. Oh! And let's see here. Hang on before I get into this. This is from 1997. Raise your hand if you're alive. Uh, put your hand down. I've always lived in England. Okay, okay. Um, well, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Um, hopefully your studies are going well. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. It's supposed to come off. It's supposed to come off. Okay. Hello. <laughs> There's so much to this. Does this open? Ah, oh, this opens too. Look at this. Look at this. You can actually have like, like the Millennium Falcon come out the bottom right here and just fly away. That's really cool. Um, where, where do you live? Where, um, I, I don't want to say that. I don't want to ask too many personal questions, but where are you from in England? Um, there are people from the UK that, that frequent this chat a whole lot. So, um, chances are they're watching you through the window right now. World Cup starts 14 of June. Hell yeah. Nerd guns. Jasmine. What's going on, Jasmine? Jasmine is actually from Australia. I cannot do an Australian accent. Mine turns like terrible Cockney. So I just, I don't even try anymore. Um, the World Cup is lit. <laughs> Hashtag broken. No, it's not. I used to do splits. I can't do it anymore. Doing the multi, doing it in multiple position stuff, stuff my bones. What? Um, you blew the whole team, Fatality. He, he did. Hi, mate. I still can't do it. I still can't do it. Jazz Mac, how you doing, man? How's your Saturday started off over there? Um, but yeah, this thing is pretty damn cool. There is so much to this. So much little details to this. Does that stand up? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is the guard tower. This is the guard tower. Remember when the dude's like following in the Millennium Falcon or an X-Wing right there? That's the guard tower he does it from. Well, the closest big city is Nottingham, so I'll just stay there. Oh my God, Fizz Kid is near you, and Fizz Kid didn't show up tonight. Not even joking. One of my best friends from this show, Mr. Fizz Kid and Miss Budka, they are from Nottingham. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, anyway, um, we thought we put toys during the 80s and 90s was great. Um, oh, the thought put into toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What country are you going to back to win, nerdy? Uh, who are my choices? Is Liverpool part of it? Not Liverpool. Leeds. Is Leeds a part of it? Um, yeah. So, like, even the trees. Like, you can position the trees and stuff. More ramps. This is, there's so much to this damn thing. And it's all... I, I think this is all kind of to scale. Pretty sure. Uh, good day, mate. Throw another shrimp on the bowl, mate. Now, see, it all goes English. I don't know why. It just always goes English. Now, Rob, hello. It's like, you know, you, you go up and you play with it, and it's like, oh, soccer zone. It's like, you know what, I like a lot of soccer, but you know what's better is that's actually throwing darts. Um, U.S. failed to qualify for the World Cup. Doesn't surprise me. We play football. Football's a devil, mama. Uh, <laughs> he can read Spanish just fine, but English must be a second language. Ba -dum -ba -dum uh, rip. That's true. So there is some random stuff in the bottom. Um, Socceroos to make it to the top 16. Uh, England, you'll be back in. <laughs> okay, uh, this sounds good. I live around 30 minutes away from Nottingham. That's awesome. Hey, you know what? Uh, welcome to the Nerdy Effect. We do this three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So basically uh, midnight for you. Sometime around midnight is where we start this. And uh, we've had people that come in here for years at that time i've learned recently that um anybody in the uk just doesn't sleep like sleep is not necessary for them to function and i still haven't figured out why england never wins anything uh tim chala best player i, I don't know who that is uh you can support morocco yes uh throw another shrimp on the ball baby but put a nickel on the donkey yeah 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 yeah. a dingo stole my baby see it, it doesn't it doesn't ever come off australian it comes off as like cockney England suck in the World Cup. Oh, Japan. Who am, I, who are my choices? Like, put a list of actual legit choices, and then I'll pick. Uh, and then you can put your money on that. Wake up before you go to go. Yes, uh, it's pronounced Kaihil. All right. So I'm just gonna grab random stuff that's right here. I don't know what this goes to, but it looks cool. I think. Yeah, we do not sleep. We drink tea for a reason. You can add as much sugar as you want. Yeah, and milk, right? You guys put milk in tea? Is that right? There are 32 countries taking part. For oh, my God. I'm going with Leeds. We're going with Leeds. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, 
Uh, a couple people have sent me different things from, like, I, I don't want to say just England, but definitely from all around uh, Europe and places. And some of the food over there is pretty damn good. It gets a bad rap, like, in comedy specials and movies and stuff, but some English food is awesome. Morocco, England, Iceland, Spain. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, mailman? man? Welcome to the show, man. Good to have you back. I'll send a link to the countries. Okay, Germany. I drink milk from the bottle, but yes, we add milk. We found a satellite dish that goes to something. See, again, that's why I'm doing this is because I want to individually label all these, what goes with what sets, and then either display it or store it. Speed, yes. Saudi Arabia in the World Cup. Really? Russia? Spain, Germany, Mexico, Panama, Egypt? <laughs> Senegal is back in. Nigeria? Awesome. And then we've got the most famous thing up in the show, and that is a Dubek. Look, it's a Dubek. Dubek. Uh, don't forget Belgium, Fox. Ah, Belgium's in it. Iran? No. Um, and then we have... There's a small one of these. We found the big one of these earlier, and I don't know what the hell this is. So, any Star Wars fans out there, and, like, I consider myself a decent one. I'm sorry I didn't know the fucking A-Wing, but it's barely used in cinema, so... But, yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is even supposed to be this, or this is some kind of random micro machine that just fell in there. I don't know. Uh, who the cute little fella beside you, Jizzy? That is No Neck. Um, I was waiting on Fizz Kid to pop in here because Fizz Kid has been pestering me for like half a year to bring No Neck back. So when we have the show back for the very first time uh, in a, about a month and a half, we bring back No Neck, which is the second show co-hostess with the mostest, and he doesn't even bother to give the common courtesy of a reach around. Uh, but that's No Neck. Um, no Neck was a show host for a while when Side Sheep was visiting Heroes. Um, but yeah, so that's No Neck. They start with eight groups of four with the top two going through the knockout rounds. That makes sense. That makes sense. And Van Halen. Van Halen's in it. My money's on Van Halen to win the World Cup. Write that down. Put the thing in. We've got a small at-at. At-at. Or a small at and t as Swap Meat likes to say. The Swiss. We got a stand for something. I don't know. To figure that out. Maybe it's for this guy. There we go. I don't know if that actually is supposed to go on there, but we've got the uh, Star Destroyer. I mean, not bad detail. I mean, for something that damn small, they actually put some work into it. Not Scotland, but Crying Purple Guy. Okay, so my money is on Crying Purple Guy and Van Halen to win the World Cup. Here's another one of these claw things. The claw. The claw. A wing used on Hoth to take down the AT AT. I don't care. Uh, put the thing sounded dirty. Yes, it did. It did. Uh, I'm going with Belgium to win it. My pick. There you go, Allie. Hell yeah. Uh, the football talk. I've never had this from my... Wait. Oh, no. I've had all this from my little brother. Well, football talk? Yeah, that's what they do. I do something else. So you can pay attention to them or pay attention to me. Here's a random seat. I, I don't know if Yoda's supposed to be in that. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uruguay. Oh, look, 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 Obi-Wan Kenobi with the big blue dildo. And there's no way that camera's going to focus on that little guy, but... Oh, ooby dooby shklabooby. And then we've got... Oh, the little bat creature uh, from Dagobah. 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 JW, calm the hell down. Hell yeah. Um, uh, Uruguay, no you, your mom. <laughs> Thanks, LD. Put a nickel on the donkey. Oh, we got little Yoda. Yoda, yo 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 Yoda. Um, we've got. I, I guess I'm, I would venture to say this might be Luke or something, but I think it's just a battle guy from Hoth. He wanted a list. He got it, and I appreciate it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking anything back. I appreciate the hell of that list. I really do. It's good to know all those countries in. But my money's on Van Halen, and yours should have been too. Um, another one of the battle guys from Hoth, right there. Little kneeling position. Can I get a yeet in the chat? Dude, I can't even get an NC in the chat. So, I mean, dream on, bro. Uh-oh, you did, J-Dub. What did J-Dub do? Fatality, you know, I thought the same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they got the strong team this time, heroes. And then we've got uh, a chair. Just a random old chair that, that people sit in. A stand. Now, we're at the bottom of the barrel, so I'm just scraping what's in here and, and just showing it. Obviously, these go with different sets. 
Um, and then I'm going to have to just sit down and go through it and Google where they all go and what they all go to. And it, But, hey, we've at least finished the tub. Probably shouldn't have thrown that. Uh, all right. We've got a... It's like a red speeder bike. I've never seen that before. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what that's from. I don't know. Red speeder bike. And then we've got, uh, this, this chick praising the sun and she's like, she has a, uh, she can bend so she can actually like, you know, praise the sun. There we go. Uh, now I have to jump in my head, then cherry curl me. Do it, do it. And see, oh, 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 okay. There we go. Um, some random ass stand that things go on. That's going to be fun to try to figure out what that goes to. Uh, a couple trees. Yeah, some more trees to, to push, uh, put it off. A random white cannon. Yeah. Hey, look, 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 look. It's a Y-Wing. It's a Y-Wing. Yay, yay. We learned something. We were, Yeah, we learned something. Y-Wing. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's got a little Jawa riding on it. Now, I have no idea what this damn creature is. I, I'm not going to even try to say it. It's a yeet. That's what it is. It's a yeet. Uh, we all knights that go yeet. <laughs> it's Nick. We are now the knights that say icky, 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 but doing zucker. Um, oh, the little ship uh, from the uh, fight at Jabba's palace. Pretty cool. It looks like we've got two different medical droids. I'm not even sure if these are Star Wars related. They kind of look Star Wars, but I don't know. Uh, those are Tauntauns. Those, no, that is not a Tauntaun. I will fight you to the death. That is not a Tauntaun. Um, here is a blue-headed dude. Uh, yeah, the, the camera cannot focus on something that small. Another Obi-Wan Kenobi. A Chewbacca or Wookiee. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little old teddy bear. It's an Ewok teddy bear. Look at the Ewok teddy bear. Tauntaun. No, it's not a Tauntaun. Uh, I I got pour your sugar on me song stuck in my head. Well, yeah. Um, it's quite clearly a space camel. Yes. When does the World Cup begin? I'm from USA. What's going on, Dr. Dangerous? Welcome back. Uh, they said June 14th, I believe. That's that's what the uh, this consensus was. Another Ewok for your enjoyment. Little bit Ewok. Um, I actually think this, yeah, this dude's a Yuzhan Vong right there. Yuzhan Vong is from the novels, and I think they were used in some of the comic book series too. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So I guess there's some thinking outside the box. Oh, it's got little wheels on it. It's one of the little protocol droids or whatever. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Just Google it, Jizzy. I'm correct. No, this, no, this is not a Tauntaun. That is not a Tauntaun. Damn it, you are false. You are wrong. Please, somebody tell him. All right, June 14th. That's pretty sure that's what I saw. Sorry to disappoint. My dog opened the door downstairs and came upstairs. Oh, sorry you disappeared. You're all right. You're all right. Um, here's a stick. I don't know. And then we've got uh, a pilot with no face. That's weird. Uh, no, you're not, power plug. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then, oh, royal guard. Pretty cool. I actually kind of want to hide this like in my bathroom or something. That way people are in there, you know, they're, they're just like, you know, sitting there. It's like, is that a royal guard? And then they shit themselves. I don't know. Uh, no, I see a Tauntaun. Power plug. Much to the same thing of me trying to argue with J-Dub that he is or is not Batman. There is no win in this situation. So therefore, I'm just going to ignore your comments, even if they're not about the same situation. Uh, Mexico are in it, Jizzy. You could support them. I, I already supported um, Def Leppard, or whoever the hell he said. Um, so the end of the box actually has another bag just worth of the small things. So I think right there, we're, we might just save the bag for another day because that's not my bag, baby. I don't know what it's called. No, thank, thank you, heroes. Um, all right. So this is something I definitely want to get to. Uh, I've got a couple things. We'll change the uh, we'll change the Star Wars topic in just a moment. Uh, yep, I'm Batman. See, right there, right there. It's a puppet. Thank you. It's a Ronto. Jawas ride them, not a Tauntaun. Oh my God! Look, it brought logic into this. That's why his name is blue and yours is green. Uh, my eyes don't lie to me. Uh, anyway, uh, so 
uh, you can't see it right now, but like on the other side of where this chat is, is an entire pop wall. Okay, there's a lot of damn pops there. Once you pop, you can't stop. Do not buy them. Panama Van Halen. I couldn't remember what it was. But the toy makes it look like a Tauntaun. No, the toy makes it look like a Ronto. You just get this stuck in your head, and you're like, that's what it is, I swear. No. Um, wait, Batman? I should go hide. Probably. <laughs> uh, get your ass in the house and wash these dishes. <laughs> Looking like your daddy. <laughs> Good job, Fatality. I like it. I'm not a Muppet. I'm part Russian. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a big pop collector. So when I get the chance to find one random, such as... That right there is the Incredible Hulk Warrior Pop from Thor Ragnarok. And that is a pop. That is the 10-inch pop. That is a monster. Um, I actually am officially can welcome my second 10-incher to the family. And that is the Star Wars Porg Pop. And it is a Target exclusive. I got lucky finding this dude. He was out in the wild. Um, I know why people passed. Because the box has actually got a little damage right there. And the dildo who opened the box actually cut the top a little bit. But yeah, um, finding the large porg was, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to spend money. I'm trying to save money, uh, mainly because of all the crap that went down last month. So I'm trying to actually save some. But when you find this in the wild and the fact that we talked earlier, that is it a Target exclusive means that you will either never find it or have to pay way more money than it's worth on eBay and Amazon to even get the damn thing. So I had to pounce on it. I had to buy it. Uh, pork on the cob. Mega pork. Mm, pork fried rice. Twerking for a dollar. Um, out of everyone, I always like Batman. Well, I mean, we uh, in the show, we've, we've done cosplay as Batman before uh, multiple times. Um, there is Batman and DC merchandise. We're just kind of on a Star Wars kick right now. Uh, but yeah, Batman's awesome. You can't go wrong with it. I, I think it was... I think it was Wednesday's show. We showed a lot of Batman comics. So, yeah. Mmm, pork and beans. Uh, Ginger going to be happy as F. That's true. So, we're actually going to open this. Mainly because the box is... I'm, I'm not going to throw it away, but it's pretty much trash. But I think having a giant pork hanging out in the background just seems awesome. Spaghetti and pork balls. Damn, this thing is heavy. I mean, Damn. Hardcover pork. You guys hear that ding? That was funny. Um, <laughs> keeps it. <hitting>. Ding. <laughs> Free me too. That's why the few people start. No, you can't say a few people. You. And, never mind. Never mind. Not getting into that. Uh, so there he is. That is a pop. Th that is a pop. Look how big this damn thing is. Ha, much a little old pork pop. I think this thing is probably like actual size. Like if you watch The Last Jedi, this is probably the, about like the real size of what they would be in real life. Don't you just want to pet it? Like, oh, you're so cute and porky. Blah, blah. Um, did the guy see it yet? Yes, yes, he did. Wow, I'm a pork star now. Hey, now, I'm a pork star. Get your game on, go play. Um, I don't think... Yeah, he doesn't come off the stand. The uh, Incredible Hulk one, it did come off. It, I don't think it even had a stand. Uh, but this one definitely does. Uh, I've never been called Batman, but my friend got bored and turned me into Harley Quinn. Hell yes! Um, Harley Quinn, that's that's another one of those. Uh, that's it's All of a sudden, it was nowhere, and then boom! Harley Quinn was everywhere. Blew up. Blew up. Ew, bobblehead. It is. That's bigger than them. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the giant Ant-Man is a six inch. This is a 10. I think it's 10. Fatality, give me your penis. Let me let me know how big this is. Uh, interesting fact is the stand is actually dirty. So it's like they made this but wasn't allowed to release it. So they just kind of sat out and then they put them in a box. But yeah, it, it is a bobblehead. Uh, I will make poured tenders out of it. That sounds good. But yeah, this thing is gigantic. I don't know where to hide it. I, wa I want to put it in a cool spot. That way people sort of like randomly see it. Kind of like Bad porg! Bad! <laughs> that, oh, that's terrifying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, we have fun. All right. So there's the porg. Um, we got about 15 more minutes. Porg burgers! That sounds good. Yeah, it's a 10-inch. <laughs> 
Thank you, Fatality. <laughs> um, all right. So let's change the game a little bit. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Marvel Legends. I am a big Marvel Legends collector. There's not really being able to be seen like where from where you're sitting that's in here. Uh, but that whole wall is covered in Marvel Legends, and about three damn uh, totes are in there. Um, sorry, but uh, maturish mind isn't going down with inch. I keep giggling. <laughs> well, um, Freya, you 100% fit in with this show then. Uh, getting to where you're needed to build another nerd hole. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow out that wall and go further that way. Uh, but my deck is going to be bigger. I said deck where you grill and put a hot tub. Uh, <laughs> why did I not know you were going to get free with that pork? Well, yeah, I mean, you pretty much know where things are going to go these days. Uh, so anyway, I'm a big Marvel Legends collector, and I picked up a couple of these uh, recently. We talked about Deadpool. This is from the Deadpool Wave, but it's actually from the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure. And this is Marvel's Paladin. And I've never heard of this character before. I, I don't know what he actually comes from. But I think he looks pretty cool. I've actually seen him posed a couple times. And with the gun and the knife, he actually looks really cool. It contrasts nice with the purple. And it has the um, Sasquatch leg. Now, he may be from Deadpool Comics. I don't read them, so I don't know. Uh, lemon, pe pe lemon pepper pork wings. I'll come and help again. Thank you. Ooh, a hot tub on my way. So here's the other ones you can get. And when you buy six of these, you can actually build the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure. Which is one of my favorite things about Marvel Legends. Like, you get a decent six-inch figure. Uh, they're highly posable. Most times they have individual detail. Um, so you get a decent figure for 20 bucks. But if you buy six of them, you get a bonus figure. And I think it's really cool. And the Sasqu Sasqu Sasquatch one looks actually pretty damn cool. So these are the other ones you got to pick up. Cable, Domino, Paladin, um, X-Force, Deadpool, X-23, and Deathlock. And Deathlock is the next one on my to-get list. Fatality can whip up, can whip out great meals, not just his penis. He can do both. Paladin Dance join Marvel? Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're definitely going to go with that. And then the other Marvel Legends that I picked up, this one is one of these hot-to-trot, hard-to-find Marvel Legends, and that is uh, from Spider-Man, and that is Mysterio. And Mysterio is an amazing one. Interesting fact, they actually made two versions of this, and um, it's, it's really even hard to tell. But on the inside of his fishbowl dome is a like sort of like skull face with like a, like an octopus tentacle coming out of his mouth and wrapping around. Well, they made a variant one of these that has a different color skull on the inside. I think it's green, uh, but I haven't placed it. Yeah, Ray Mysterio. Yes, Ray Mysterio. Um, but yeah, believe it or not, this is one of the more highly sought after Marvel Legends that's come out in the past year. It's a great solid figure. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so of course I had to get it, and I had to pay a little bit over price, but I'm not going to find it in the wild. Scalpers, they, they fire it up, and that's how it just works. Um, if you were to, bit, uh, to get all these that are in this set, you can build Marvel's Lizard, and it is a badass Build-A-Figure. I've seen it in person, and I want it. Uh, but yeah, if you get... Um, that's Spider-Gwen, not Spider-Gwen, that's Gwenpool, uh, Prowler, Rocker Spider-Man, Spider-Man Noir, um, it's it's like a different spider girl and uh, what is this guy's name lasher lasher you can then build the lizard and i'm sorry that that didn't focus at all damn camera uh i see that shit joey turn your hacks off bitch uh ray hentai it could definitely be hentai yes i have a small bar at my house and y'all want the hot tub what <laughs> Um, yeah, we, uh, every once in a while on here, on the show, we actually do do some drinks. There is a show on YouTube, not a show, but it's a, like a, it's a YouTube channel and it's called, I want to say it's called the nerdy bartender or something very similar to that. Um, but they, they make all kinds of different like nerd themed drinks and they are amazing. They're awesome to try. And every once in a while we'll break out the liquor and we'll, We'll make them and try them, and I'll tell you if it's real deal or not, if it's just a big pile of garbage. Basically, I'm a giant guinea pig when it comes to buying stuff, and that even goes all the way up to flags and alcohol, um, which never mix those two. If you get a chance, just uh, don't mix those two. It's like, I'm going to get drunk and start buying stuff off of eBay, and then you end up with, you know, 15 Egyptian flags. So, um... I kind of want to get to that. All right, we might run a little bit long. Let me do this. 
this will be the last thing we talk about right here. Um, I got a package today. Bragging. And I know what this is. This is a pop. Um, I'm also a bartender, too. And deodorant. Yes. Uh, I purchased a pop, and I'm going to try really hard not to cut into it. Because sometimes people cut into the tops of pops. Pop top. Um, lethal, right? What? So this dude just came in the mail. And uh, this will change up the game a little bit. So we're not talking complete nerdy stuff. When, of course, I had to pick up the pop of the amazing, the immortal, Jimi Hendrix. That is, uh, they actually made two different versions of these that I know of. They may have made a third one. I'm not sure. But the other one, he's actually knelt down in front of a flaming guitar. And uh, that one's kind of more expensive. Oh, it, it actually shows it on the back. That's kind of cool. Focus, you some bitch. Please focus. Please camera focus. Anyway, so it's got Jimi Hendrix with the flaming guitar. And then, of course, the um, the regular Jimi Hendrix where he's actually holding the guitar. But, yeah, I, I had to get this up. I uh, took a dump today bragging. Spotted dick going way back. That's true. Can you teach me your bartending ways? I am Fatality. Oh, yeah, Fatality can 100% do it. He's a chef, and uh, everything that he posts looks phenomenal. Um, Freya, I, I don't know if you have an Instagram, but... 98% of the people that are in the chat also have an Instagram and I'm probably responsible for that. But we sort of like, like we're, we're just like this one big weird family of uh, people from all around the globe. And the way we chat back and forth is through Instagram and we post pictures of our lives and stuff like that. And it's just a way to become closer. So if you do have an Instagram, definitely give me a follow. And when you follow me, you'll see all these same familiar faces over here. Ali, Fox, Fatality, J-Dub, uh, Red, Mailman, uh, like Power Plug, all of them have an Instagram. So it is just one big weird nerd family. Uh, I, I, I recommend it only for just uh, prolonging the experience of hanging out with people that are like-minded and just awesome. I'm a personal chef. My personal chef. Um, he's a part of my pop rock band. Yeah, I need, to, I need to start doing that. That may be one of the Pop Team Tuesdays we're going to do. Uh, no Instagram for me. Lethal has one. Your name wasn't in my visible chat dildo. Uh, yes, I blame you for my IG account. Oh, I know you do. Uh, I'll head over and do that. Like I said, it's like I, I don't get paid to have an Instagram. It's just it's just where we just pretty much hang out. Oh damn, no red. Ah, there's Super Chica. You had enough red last night, didn't you? So yeah, we had to get the Jimi Hendrix pop, and it's it's just awesome, phenomenal. They did really cool with the side. They, they've got sort of that. Um, psychedelic look to it and even the damn logo at the top that purple haze properties is badass it's probably they had to get the licensing to his uh, name so that that's why it actually has it at the top but that is a great box I mean, that's a solid box even though it's not an exclusive it's still a great looking pop um, I can't even turn on an oven never mind cook hey fatality will help you out I blame you for her for herpes no 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 you get that from your dad bitch um, <laughs> Instagram is for non-believers <laughs> you just call me weird yeah yeah I did uh, can I substitute turning a broom instead of a guitar yeah yeah bring it on uh, fatality nudes IG coming soon uh, okay I'm done uh, awesome pop. There you are. Uh, Jimmy is the best ever. I mean, yeah, hands down, dude. Um, Jimmy Duff slash Axel and Lemmy are on my pop rocks. See, that's why I need to get that wide angle camera so I can start pop, uh, pointing to pops again because Lemmy is right there. Uh, dad gave me, I know, I know it's, it's random and weird, but the doctor doesn't lie. So yeah, Jimmy Hendrix pops, um, had to get it. If I find a good deal on the flaming guitar one, I'll pick it up, but I'm not going to actively hunt it down. My voice is going. I, I can tell it. It's almost gone. So that means it's almost time to close up shop tonight. <laughs> what is that, Hyro? Is that some kind of like, um, it looks like a, it's like a baby. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Damn. Uh, Fatality, calm the heck down. Yes. And hell as well. All right. So the last thing we're going to talk about, I didn't even know this existed. Uh, this is a remake. This just came out. Within the past couple of years, there's no actual manufacturer date on there. It may have came in a loot crate or something similar to that. I didn't do any research, but because it is TMNT, which is what this entire pretty much wall 
right here is dedicated to from the TV tray to the uh, actual original carded figures. These are all the original TMNT figures from the 90s and 80s. Uh, the NECA figures, um, some of the vehicles down there, and even the Technodrome, including the amazing artwork from uh, Miss Heather. Um, I'm a big TMNT fan. Grew up, childhood. It's part of my life. But yeah, this is TMNT um, pins, like pins you put on your shirt or jacket. And this is Raphael as a tank. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's got old school like uh, background. You know, like the old figures used to come on. So nostalgia hits you right in the feels. And then, of course, it happens to be my favorite turtle, which is Rap. And he's like some kind of tank. Um, but yeah, this is what makes me think it might be a loot crate. And then you just sort of got Raph or Mikey or whatever. On the back, um, it shows uh, Leonardo, Raph, Dawn. And then it shows a 1 in 500 chance of getting Shredder, which is rare. So I've got to actually get some info on this. And then it says Turtles 2 is coming. Beth, I hear you call it. <laughs> Great reference. Uh, Peter Chris from Kiss. Yeah. Um, swap only nudes I post before my barbecue is raw. Gross. Hmm. No Kevin Eastman shout out. Feels Shut up, Lethal. Uh, it's actually right there. It's, it's right there. It's right there. Uh, yes, there's a Kevin Eastman signed TMNT, but everybody in here already knows that. But yes, it's there. Um, where's my ginger? Um, stolen. Um, a tank raft, random but cool. Yeah, I agree. It is random, but the nostalgia with the card back and uh, all this just really hit me. I, I know it's stupid. And look, it even has the pizza points on it. Like, it even saved the day. Oh, now you focus, you some bitch. Um, but yeah, it even has the pizza points, so I've got to, I've got to get it. I've got to get it. Uh, hey, J-Dub. Oh, Twisted Metal TMNT Edition will be lit. Hmm. Good point. I like that. Can I get a drummer pop, nerdy? Can I get a drummer pop? Okay. Uh, let's get the, the, the Peter, Peter Chris up there. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. That's the last item for today's show. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's goofy, but it's, uh. It's thin enough to kind of go like right there. So it, it works for the collection. It fills in holes and gaps. That's what she said. So, all right. We've been talking for an hour, roughly about an hour and 40 minutes, which is uh, about all my voice can handle, apparently. We showed off a lot of whole bunch of nerdy stuff. Uh, we've got some pretty cool new followers that hang out today. Um, Freya, I really do appreciate all the time that you came in and, and hung out for your very first time. Uh, it's, it's great to meet you. Hopefully you can come back. Like I said, we do this now four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Central time. That's over here in America. And then on Thursdays we do ASMAR or ASMR on, uh, around 8.30. It was going to be eight, but I need prep time. So, uh, it's around 8.30 Central time as well. Uh, thanks for the Geek Fuel, their logo, the tank with the pins. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't get the. I don't get boxes anymore. Me, I mean. Uh, okay, I'm out. Much love. Going to get drunk as shit. Well, send me some pictures. Uh, take care, everyone. Bye. That is enough, Jizzy, for the evening. Uh, it's the nicest stream I've been to, to be honest. Nicest? Damn. I apologize for you not being treated properly, but uh, here at the Nerdy Effect, everybody and anybody is always welcome. Ah! <laughs> uh, sorry I was eating tacos take this with you thank you very much Chris Stuff great to see you my man uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah everybody's welcome it, it, it is I mean there are times when people come in um, and the initial is to troll and it's fine you're more than welcome to troll but chances are most times uh, you will either leave or you'll hang out because it's cool um, but yeah it, like I said everybody's always welcome in here and we always have a pretty damn good time because the chat is always so many freaking amazing people from all across the globe. I mean, I'm not even joking. From from sea to shining sea, from California all the way around the globe to the coast of Australia, there is somebody that is part of this nerd circle, part of this nerd crew that we pretty much always like. It's like like Trenzor coming back tonight. Trenzor came back. It's been months since he's been here. Boom! As soon as he's here, Trenzor, great to see. You. It's been a long time, and it truly has been a long time since Trenzor's been here. Um, but that's how it is. The more you hang out, the more we get to know you, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I would say Twitter, but I don't really post anything except, hey, I'm streaming. Um, but other than that, yeah. 
Uh, yes. Um, that's enough jizzy for one night. Pickle jizz. That's true. That's true. That's true. Resist Dan's calm on attempt. Yeah. Well, Dan is pretty much always ready to go. ASMAR. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, hot potato. We did miss hot potato this evening. Um, hopefully he's having a great night. Five gr Ah, thank you very much, mailman. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, so that is all from me. Uh, I'm going to try really hard to do a game show tomorrow. Game show. Game stream tomorrow. Um, so tonight, I'm probably going to send you all to Lethal. Hopefully he's streaming right now. It would be nice if he was on so I could, uh, I could send you guys to him. Um, but yeah, Lethal will be streaming tonight. Um, Mr. Ron Mexico will be on. Twisted Sense is off. Listwitz is going to be on later tonight. Like I said, if you follow this channel, um, and I'm not hosting somebody on auto host to Listwitz, definitely follow Listwitz, L I S T W I T S, on Twitch. Game show, the only interactive game show on YouTube and Twitch ever. It is amazing. You can win actual human prizes that are shipped to you at no cost at all. Um, also, Ron Mexico will be on tonight. Um, if Shaggy and Hippie Chick are on, go check them out over on the YouTube. Mr. Freddy's Ready is officially on YouTube. I couldn't be happier. Fantastic man. Fantastic stream. What he does is phenomenal. So Freddy's Ready, go check him out. And uh, if you missed Listwitz tonight, he'll be on tomorrow on Twitch doing his same old amazing game show like I just described. So go check him out. Uh, finally, lastly, my name is Jizzy. We've got our secondary show co-hostess with the mostest, that is Mrs. No Neck, rocking the flag from Albania this evening. Um, have a fantastic weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Monday. And uh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this nerd circle with you. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's the Nerdy Effect 5 5.0. 5 .0. Nerdy effect. <laughs> Oh, Nerdy, hey. <laughs> Throwing in the host there, man. How's it going? Yeah. Doing a redraw um, of a previous drawing because uh, somebody really wanted it, but I didn't want to <laughs> just give the one I made, so I'm just doing it again. Because this is the original one. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've seen this other one. 